Hey everybody, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4, Part 2. Let's go ahead and jump right back into the gameplay. Help me block this! Hurry! Alright, so let's block the door off. Sarah, please! Who's out there? Luke! Clem? Oh, Thank God. they're alive! Did Nick find you? He made a run for it. Looking for help. I... I saw him outside. Look, he was out there, but we took care of him. You know. Oh. Fuck. When I heard y'all banging through the door. Luke, are you all right? I'm, uh, I'm walking. I can't do much else, though. Sarah, she's another story. I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Oh. We have to go now. What's she doing? Can you get up? I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... Well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for it. I'm just glad y'all are here. Ooh. Ooh. Out of the woods yet. What are we going to do about her? Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're going to tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we got to get her up, or, or we got to... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I could barely get her to look at me. Clem? We'll try. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Sarah, it's me. She looked at us. Hi. Oh. You helped me when we first met. Now I want to help you. Just lost her dad. That's really hard. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else. In my I miss life. him. He I miss Lee. Keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. You would still want that. Come on. Come on, Sarah. Oh, Sarah! I'm so proud of Clem. Oh! Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you. Ooh. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. See what you can find. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three. All right, let's go ahead and move this. Shit. 
Okay, Luke, we gotta first. go. We need you up top. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, you have Clementine. To. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. I can't, I can't, I can't! Dying! Oh. Don't make me leave you. Come on. Dying like this is stupid. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! Oh! oh. oh. Shit! Clementine! Holy shit! We just slapped Sarah! Oh my god! We gotta go! Sarah! Come on! Poor thing! <laughs> Clem just slapped the shit out of her. Oh my god. Well, that was intense, huh? Wow. Damn, Clem. Wow. Uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. <sighs> Sucks. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem... I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. Oh. I just I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Yeah, he's hurt. He, it's not like he could do anything anyways. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning, she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time... Walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted. And I left her there. Oh my god. Jumped to the next building over by myself. Jane, I'm really sorry. Aww. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell. When all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Damn, that's Sarah hard. Was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. People aren't all the same. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. I like how they're talking like she's not even there. Like, Sarah is a person, too. Like, I really genuinely want to help Sarah and protect her. Mike, my boy. Son of a bitch. <laughs> you found him. Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. 
Sarah. How you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. I like how she like shoved her. She like shoved her like, it's okay. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. 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 Oh. <laughs> this part is so... Well, this episode is so sad. I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he... I don't know. Mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. We need to get him to come out. I agree, but with the way he's acting, I don't know if we should be ganging up on him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through. Well, he was really rude. <laughs> but, like always, Clem's the one to do everything, so we will try. Ooh, that scared me. <laughs> I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. Uh, everything in this episode. She didn't want me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance, she didn't come back. Sarita was a good person. I liked her. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Oh. Duck. Katya. Oh. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. Oh. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Ooh. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. She's about to turn and run out there. I just, I feel it. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Whew. Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should, I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. I love Don't him. Don't wake him with a trap like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. What should we do first, Kenny? 
Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. This is helping him, right, I know. Right, it's sorry. empowering him. Clean water for one thing. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? Sarah? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I guess we'll go with you, Bonnie. I know it must have been hard, but... Thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was oh. thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all oh, who do I go with? I'm gonna Don't go with worry. Jane. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. Alright, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast, and let's be careful. I guess we're going with Jane, everybody. She's all the way over there. Do I really have to walk all that way? Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. Yeah. And I don't know if... Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Did you find anything out here? Huh? Oh, uh, not yet. I hadn't really started looking until you showed up. Hmm. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. It looks pretty nice, if you ask me. Check this out. A skate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. <laughs> You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. The mechanism. All right, so, yeah, so far I'm definitely liking this place. It seems like a good... Find anything? Sturdy thing. No, not even trash. <laughs> can we go in here? No. Civil War, 1863. Okay. Let's go ahead and use the telescope. I guess it's broken. Ah. 
let's continue to look. We have a cannon. Oh, there's a graphic art over here. Ow! Shit! You okay? Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. There's this telescope right here. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her Who condition. the hell is that? Mind, Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Look at little Clem gonna use her cuteness to the power. Hey. I just want to talk to you. Oh, he looks scared. Who are you? I'm Arvo. Oh. You want to go? I don't want to shoot. He's cute. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. A little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Jane, be careful, please. Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Oh, he looks so helpless. Stop. No, I have no more guns. Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. Aww. My sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You go already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes. Oh, I don't know what you to do. Don't a fucking word about your sick sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. I'm gonna. I can't. I have to. I'm sorry. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, bullshit. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. Mm. I feel bad. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? We should go get everyone else. Yeah.
Go get the others. Oh. I'm gonna get this place open. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Jane. Arvo. I wanted him to be our friend. Why couldn't he be our friend? Clem, Clem, hey, any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. The deck might be a safe place we can stay tonight, where Rebecca could have the baby. At least, if we can't find something better. I guess that's something. I should check it out. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. <laughs> Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. And broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that, that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Kenny did go too far. It made me uncomfortable. There's still hope for you then. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Okay, that was pretty insulting. Luke. Poor Clem, she's been through so effing much. It's just, it's not right. It's so sad. I just, if this was real, I just, I don't know what I would do. I'm not supposed to be in Anyways, everybody, we are going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed part two. Part three will come tomorrow or technically I think today, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Alrighty, I love you all so much. Bye, guys.